me. I'm not even tired. Badging myself up a bit. his zip line in a few moments. Here is gonna get challenged. Oh, he's gonna get challenged by the Wraith and it's Nastical who went in for the fight and you're not gonna use that Pathfinder to get up on top. We're shooting now over to the roof here. Nastical, he, I can't believe he got that ambitious and went in for the challenge, but he's gonna be the last one standing for his team and he gets shredded. Liquid loss of Half the squads are gone. There by more as he'll try to keep the spots going. He's doing whatever he can from the ground, but his ace up on the roof here. Dropping down now, trying to do the damage, but there's two players he'll encounter trying to dodge and weave and try to get that shield battery going. It is extremely desperate. Oh, the peacekeeper comes out. The Wraith will pop the tactical, though, just to get out dodge in time. Ace is in here for a lot of trouble. Oh, nice drop. Can he get another one there? Pulls out the alternator, and he gets it. Great stuff from Ace, taking down Tempo early on, saving the day for what? LG. That is so needed. What? These two wins. That's an extra 24 points total that you've added to your score, completely shaking up the leaderboards. What are you guys going to continue to do to try to get a three in a row? Pray that we get loot. Loot's important. It's about a royale after all. Thanks a lot. Sentinels walking away with the match victory and the champion banner. But for all of the analysis, let's go back to home base. A pretty poor first day for for you know what you might expect out of Cloud9, and we did see some Cloud. Uh, Cloud I think it was Overpowered. He went down earlier, so it's good to see that they found a recovery here, and they're just.